everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a second review, so my second impressions on the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. Now, if you guys wanna know my first impressions of this foundation, I will link it on the eye somewhere. But I remember really, really liking this foundation. I remember being full coverage as well, which is shocking for me because I don't like full coverage. I like a light coverage. I like to do light coverage and build it up if I need to. But I remember this being full coverage and shockingly I really liked it. And loads of people were saying this was for more like oily skin, but yeah, I've got dry skin and I could get away with it. So yeah, I, I do remember that. I remember saying it quite a while back. So I'm gonna be applying this to my face again and I'll let you guys know my second thoughts on this foundation. So if you guys can enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on one well, my second thoughts on the Makeup Revolution RRL Filter Foundation just keep watching. All right, guys, let's replay with the IRL Filter Foundation by Makeup Revolution, and I'm in the shade F6. Now, I remember absolutely loving this foundation. I love the way it looked on my skin, which I was quite surprised because I'm more of a dry skin person than an oily skin person, so I was very shocked that I even loved this. So, let's apply this. I've already prepped my skin with a primer. I've used the Gosh Cosmetics Velvet Touch Primer. It's probably not the right primer to use because I have got very dry skin at the moment, but we'll see what happens. I think three pumps should be enough. Just uh, spreading it around. Right, taking my damp beauty sponge, we are going to start blending. Ooh, that coverage. Ooh. Alright guys, this stuff still blends like an absolute dream. I know I look a bit strange because there's gaps under my eyes. I like to use that bit for concealer because I find when I put foundation and concealer on top, it's just so heavy under my eyes. That's why I leave that bit bare. But it still makes my skin look flawless. I'm just going to bring you guys closer. Can you see this bit here? It still looks great. The shocking thing is, considering that this is full coverage, I've got very dry skin at the moment. Well, actually, I have got dry skin, but considering that my skin feels even more dry at the moment, because in the UK now it's getting a bit warmer, it still looks fantastic. It still looks great. I'm not a full coverage girl whatsoever, but I still love the way it looks. I still love it. It... So I've got an eyelash stuck to me. It still looks great. I'm I'm absolutely mind blown how great this looks. Yeah, I'm absolutely blown away. So okay, I'm gonna apply the rest of my base makeup and I'll show you guys the end result. Alright guys, so I've applied all my base makeup now, so I'll bring you closer so you can see. It still looks amazing. My skin doesn't even look dry. I'm so shocked. It still looks great, it looks flawless. It went on really well, everything applied fantastically on top of that foundation. It's still a really good foundation. I think pretty much any skin type could get away with this. It's fantastic, it's flawless. If you want something that's full coverage but not too heavy, well, that doesn't feel heavy, then you will like this. It, it's really good and this is coming from someone who does not like full coverage. I'm not keen on full coverage whatsoever, so coming from my mouth, I, I really, really like this foundation. It's still really good and I still recommend it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.